Hi everybody, I have been having so much fun playing with alcohol inks um, and applying them to these porcelain eggs and also doing some little landscapes and so I love this color combination so much it reminds me of Van Gogh's sunflowers that I thought I'd just do a little demonstration. This is a porcelain um, egg from a China supply uh, company and but you can use ceramic and what I did, it's just simply two colors, which is kind of amazing. These are um, uh, Ranger Adirondack inks, uh, Juniper, which is like one of my very favorites, and Sunshine Yellow. So to start with, I have um, applied some of the Juniper in layers. I have a little compressor because I was going through so many cans of this dust off stuff. Um, but you can do this with dust off, and I'll try to demonstrate it with the dust off, even though I've gotten a little out of practice with this. Um, so all I did was apply a little drop. I love this stuff because it layers and it just does amazing things. And it's running. I can let it sit for a bit um, or not, and then just kind of shoot it around. And it creates a really beautiful, almost... Um, like pressed flowers look. So, so first I'm putting the juniper down. You can do this on tiles and on um, photo paper, I guess. I've never tried photo paper on Yupo. So I'm going to get kind of a little bit of a background of the green. Uh, my daughter, Danielle's favorite color is yellow, so I'm hoping to get these in the mail to her. Um, I have my door open. You should have ventilation when you're using alcohol ink, so you'll probably hear my dog coming in and out. And who knows what else. So there I've got a fair amount of this juniper just layered on. And it, it's kind of astounding that just one color could get that many beautiful variations. So now I'm going to add the sort of sunflower-y looking uh, portion of it. And I just love the way the colors blend. It's almost like when I work with my glass, new colors uh, appear just because of the combination of the two colors. So um, there, I'm just putting a drop. And it's kind of going all over the place because the uh, uh, egg is round. And I can't exactly tip it to show you. But you can get just a really perfect drop and then come in with your air and spread it out. And then you can put another drop right on top. Tiny, it's hard, kind of hard sometimes to get the little teeny drop. Let it sit for a bit and it'll create a sort of ring of color. It's going to drip because I'm showing y'all, but if you didn't hold it up like this, it wouldn't run as much. And then just hit it with the air and just keep creating uh, sort of layers until you've got the look that you want. I'm just going to keep going a little bit here um, and just place the flowers wherever it looks like they need them. Sometimes zigzagging helps if you are at a loss as to how to um, use space. And this one ran, but it doesn't matter. I just spread it all around, put a little drop, letting it sit, and then coming in kind of close and making that blossom. I hear the birds outside. See how beautiful? Uh, I'm hoping the lighting is good. I can't tell because my computer's tilted. But even over the top of the juniper, I'm not just putting it on the white. Then I'm going to come in and it'll create a different shade of that yellow or a different hue, I guess, because it's mixing with the, the juniper. And you can leave this uh, if you like that circle. I just finished some eggs for my other daughter that I left um, some of the circle. Put another little drop in. What I love about this, it's just incredible the way that it layers. It makes it really, really fun to work with. So you just keep on a working at it until you've filled your space how you like. And now the trick, and it's so big controversy on how to seal them. My favorite way so far, very important, this is um, 
I'm sorry, sorry it's tipped, but my, I'm afraid, I don't want y'all to see me. I didn't put my makeup on and I look terrible. But anyway, you put a, two to three layers, light layers of this first, letting them dry a little bit in between. And then um, that blocks the colors in. Then I put two to three layers of this, letting it kind of dry in between, light layers. This um, creates a UV block because otherwise these will fade. And you can stop at this step. You can just do, you know, three layers of this and that be it. But if you want to make them a little bit shinier or a little bit um, stronger or, you know, resistant to chips and things, then um, engine enamel, a couple of layers of that, um, or this is a, a resin spray. And there are other, other people have different ideas on what to do it. But I've, what I've basically been doing is up to the Rust-Oleum. Yesterday I tried out this spray, which seems really nice and um, makes a nice hard surface. Um, and so that is that. And then once these are done, I'll have a beautiful um, set of eggs as a gift. So enjoy, it's Juniper and what was the other name? Sunshine Yellow. Thanks, ciao.